I never went to college. I have my medical degree, I have my MD, because I never had to go to college to apply to the medical school because I transferred. I was the youngest one in my class. Years later, I was working as a director of a neurosurgical spine a service at the Northwestern University, and I was working on developing some minimally invasive spine techniques. A uh, newspaper came to interview me about this minimally invasive techniques, and was started asking me about the story, you know, how I became a doctor. And they were very surprised to find out that I started medical school when I was 16. I told them all about the story about my mom, about me following her footsteps. A couple of weeks later, the article came out. And, uh, you know, I'm saying hi to a patient before the surgery, saying, Mrs. Jones, how are you doing? And she says, oh, I'm doing great. I'm sort of just happy that you take care of me, Dr. Hauser. I'm like, Dr. Hauser, what, what is it? Who, who are you talking about? And so she pulls out this newspaper and there's a whole page uh, article that says Russian Doogie Hauser. Do you know what Doogie Hauser is? So I didn't know either. So Doogie Hauser was a show, very popular show in America, about this teenager who became a doctor. And when you talk about a somebody who becomes a doctor at a very young age, they say Doogie Hauser. And so that's kind of, so I have this article that says uh, Russian Doogie Hauser, and that's actually the first time I even learned about this cultural phenomenon because I did not grow up in, in, the, US, in the U.S.